Hello everyone, I'm River Fox. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode in the Back to Basics 2021 series. In this series, I am going to be re-going through all of the questline missions and the SSDs. So today's video, we're going to be covering Stonewood SSD numbers 7 and 8. And the reason I'm covering both in this video is you won't need to place any new amplifiers for these defenses. So the builds that you set up for these should take you through both seven and eight so i've covered most of these builds already in my five and six and my other builds but there are one or two slight changes so i'm just going to take you through my builds now for this defense all the way around in stonewood i've just left them as a tier one structures i haven't upgraded hardly anything the only thing i've got upgraded here is my my little house my little face that it looks like for the um the actual home base storm shield but pretty much everything else is tier one materials so for the home base spawn you're going to have some spawns um anywhere along this section down here so we've got three different directions they can go up they can come up here and they can go up through this ramp or they can go up this side which they will go through that tunnel or they will come up this ramp here now most of this here is pretty much the same as it was in the previous storm shields that we did i'm not sure if they were there initially or not but i added some drop traps just above the ramp so that it would catch most of the husks that try to come up that ramp but we're going to go in through this direction first now we again we do have some drop traps just above the top of the ramp so that anything that does come up these is going to hit those and the drop traps are going to bounce all the way down there and kill anything that's coming up um, i did put in a couple of sand walls just in case they um, don't get taken out by the drop traps then at least it will make them dance a bit before they hit the tar pits and then they are going to get hit by the wall launchers and flung back down so very little actually makes it past this point here um, if they do, generally they get to this point which slows them down anyway and they will take damage from all of these electric fields, the, the darts and of course retractable spikes. If they happen to get far enough then the wall launcher there will fling them into this box but I never had any even make it past this square here so you don't need to worry about that. Now for the next direction then is up here so they can spawn anywhere along this point. So they can either go up this side or they can go up this side. If they come up this side, then we do have a wooden floor spike here just to slow them down if um, if they hit along the middle. But otherwise, they're going to come into this tunnel and they're going to get hit by all of these. And um, we've got a wall launcher, which of course is going to fling them back down there and they will take damage from the drop traps as they come in um, if they make it far enough in here then they would get hit by these and some more electric fields up the top but to be honest they never made it that far in now the other direction is from over here you will get the occasional one which are going to want to walk all the way around this way but generally they will come up this um, this sort of steps and they will just head towards this tunnel anyway. So it doesn't matter where they come in from. But again, if they come up here, they get hit by the launcher, send them all the way back down, take some more damage from our drop traps. And mainly for the smashers, really, because the smashers will take a long run through this. But most of them would get taken out before they even get into the, um, the actual boxes, um, trap tunnel boxes that we have, which we've got some more wall launchers, which to be honest, you could probably get away with not even having the wall launchers there because the amount of damage that they were taking from the electric fields and from the retractable floor spikes, they, they weren't even getting hit by the launcher. The launchers were going off, and they were you know trying to fling the husks into the box but to be honest the traps on the floor were so powerful that you you didn't even need them so that is the for the home base there now for the second wave is generally over at amp a 
and 4 amp A now because we've got some other ones placed down there they will always come from the west so for this one we do have a massive spawn point which will be all the way down here you'll have a couple on this top corner and you will get them all the way down here as well so again we have a few different directions they can come up they can go up this ramp up here or they can go up this ramp or majority tend to want to go around this way and up this ramp so we we'll start at this one first now they will come up at this point they can either come in this square or this square and of course they get hit by some wall darts and things as they go I've got some broadsides on the side if you don't have those you can just put in some more wall darts or, or anything in there to cause damage as they come in now they will not want to walk up this left side they will always come across to walk up the right hand side of this ramp so because they're gonna to want to walk up this side here then that means they're gonna take damage from that trap that trap that trap and these two traps as well and we have some ceiling electric fields up above so they're going to take massive damage as they're heading through because they've got to they've got to go diagonally to get to it so they're going to go past pretty much all of these traps if they do get up far enough a couple more drop traps up here just to catch anything else that's there and to be honest nothing even really made it past this square in here but if they do a few more um little boxes here just to cause some more damage going in so that is for this direction now over here if they come up this section and they want to head for this ramp here then again we've got a couple of wall darts set in here we got our retractable floor spikes on the floor now i do need to actually change those and if you do have them you should always put in a wooden floor spike on the entrance to any trap tunnel because it will slow the husks down so that they will be more likely to take damage from all of our traps i didn't i didn't place one on there because i've only literally just this morning got the retractable uh sorry the um wooden floor spikes so i wasn't able to place them before now but yeah they plenty of damage from our wall spikes and um uh, ceiling electric fields and retractable floor spikes on there as well now the wall launcher here is to make sure we fling them over that direction because behind all of this if i just get round here we do have a load of block up uh, block off setup now this is there we go this is mainly because any smashers that come up there do tend to like smashing through these walls so i filled all the block off in just to make sure that the smashers didn't want to smash through any of the walls and they would actually go through the tunnels so we don't need to worry about any of those bits but I, again i didn't even see that trap getting used on any of these but they're there just in case now again the last direction is this one here which they will come up this ramp so we got some more drop traps up here just to make sure that it catches anything going up i block this wall off just to make sure they will come over to this tile and then they've got to head in towards these boxes in here and again you can put in whichever traps you have because you're not going to have a huge amount of traps early on in the game make sure you do build something around the amplifier here just to make sure that the smashers will head through your tunnels rather than straight at them if you don't build anything on your actual amplifier then the smashers will start smashing at structures over there so that is wave two now after that all the other waves are random so we do have amplifier um b over here which they will generally either come from the east or from the south so from the east if we get all the way over here now this is the only section i have actually upgraded to a tier three just to make sure they don't come up this ramp because if they do straight access to our amplifier so that's the only part of the build that i've actually put to a tier three but they are going to spawn 
around this direction here and you will get the occasional one that is going to spawn up at this point up here as well so the main directions then they will go through that tunnel over there or they will go through this tunnel or there's another section up there i'll show you in a bit but if we come over this way then if they do want to try ban uh, banging on this wall here we got a sound wall just to make them dance which normally makes them move over this way and then they take damage from the electric field so you don't need any other traps there um, again, wooden floor spikes to slow them down so that they will take more damage as they are coming down this ramp. We got a drop trap up above to catch anything going down here at all. And of course wall darts on the sides. If they make it down to this far, then we got broadsides here, broadsides there, and we got darts across here. Now, the reason we leave this one as a wall like this rather than a full wall is the darts from this one and from this one will go between both boxes. So even if a husk has made it through and gets to this box, then both of these darts are gonna cause them damage and the broadside. So you don't need to, um, to worry about that side. That will all be taken care of. Now, the second direction then is over here where they will mainly come up through this ramp and they will head towards this direction. So we've got a couple of traps and things set up here. Now, I do have some ceiling drop traps up there. Make sure that they are three tiles high. If you do it any lower than any of the husks that spawn over there, which I will come to in a second, will just walk straight down onto the top of your builds and go straight over the top. So if you make sure they're three tiles high, then they won't be able to get to the top of the builds and they've got to go through the tunnel. Now, they will come through this tunnel here and apart from any smashers, which sometimes might make it just about to the end here, then most things get taken out before they even get into this tunnel. So that is that section. Now, for this spawn up here, then we will get some that will spawn around here. So what I have done, don't worry about these builds. That's for a different um, amplifier, which I'll go through for the next one i'm building that up for number nine now they will spawn around this spot here some of them will go down that way but some will come through this way so we've got another little natural ramp behind here so i've blocked that off just with some tier one structures just to make sure just to make sure they don't go up there. Uh, but they should come around this side. So we've got a few wall darts on here just to catch them uh, as they're coming in. And they will either go down this ramp or they will just come directly and go straight into our big box of death. Basically, broadsides, we have wall launchers to fling them over so they cause um, take more damage over on the retractable spikes there and loads of wall darts and everything set up and of course we've got some more drop traps just above the ramp and everything else then is our ceiling electric fields which will fill up all of the area and they don't tend to make it too far so that is for that direction now the other direction that they can come is from the south which they are going to spawn around this area here so for this one now there is a natural ramp over there which will go all the way up here and up here they can come all the way around but they don't tend to want to do that sometimes they might come up this bit and they might come around here uh, but generally what they do is they will fall down onto this trap and then they fall down into the actual box you don't need to worry too much about building over there and again don't worry about those extra builds that you can see there they won't be there for this defense that is something i'm building for the next one so yeah so they will spawn down here and they will go up that side or they will come up this ramp so for this ramp again we got our drop traps always above the top of the natural ramps because then they're going to go all the way down there and kill anything coming up and i've left this square open as i said for any that do come down otherwise they're just going to walk straight across the top of the builds 
and straight over to your amplifier so leave this square uh, open no trap on there now we've got a wall launcher here then just to make sure fling them back down there next hole along we have a floor launcher which again fling them all the way back down there so they've got to come back up again and there is a second ramp up to this side of it so again on this one we've got a wall launcher fling them down now make sure you do have your wooden floor spikes at the tops of the ramp so it's going to slow any husks down before they even get to your tunnel in here once they do get into the tunnel then we got some more launchers to fling them into these boxes which again most don't even make it past that square at all and yeah last final square over here didn't even bother placing a floor trap on that one so that one is fine uh the only other direction for this one that they can come is up this natural sort of steps up here so what we've done is we blocked one side off to make sure they will always come up this left hand side they're going to take all this damage before they get in to the actual boxes and again same as before we got wall launchers in here fling them into these boxes in um, in here and take some massive damage on that now there should actually be a um, broadside on there but we keep getting some random traps that just disappear and i don't know why uh, but yeah there should be a broadside on that wall now with this one i've left this one open and again there should be a wall dart on there too which they just keep randomly disappearing i don't know why we've left this um this one with a window in for the same reason as having the floor like that is the darts will go between both boxes so whichever box they are in both that dart and that dart are both going to go off at the same time and i just put in some wall lights just to stun them and make them stumble back a bit a uh, bit longer so they can take more damage and more chance for the traps to reload but yeah they 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 never get through that tunnel anyway so no problem there now with the next um amplifier that we have we have amplifier c and this can get attacked from the west over there and from the south down here now this one can be a little tricky sometimes because they will spawn around this spot they will spawn anywhere around here and they're gonna be heading for your amplifier but especially with the lobbers i have noticed the lobbers will come all the way up here now at the point of starting your ssd7 that wall will be right across there this this barrier so you won't be able to place any structures on these ramps at all to stop those lobbers uh, coming up um, to do damage now i've even i've even noticed one of the lobbers even came over as far as this over here and i don't know why because our amplifier is over there so i don't know why they would even go that way but they try and find any route that they can to your amplifier so if you would have thought they would take a nice short route straight through there but just keep an eye out on those you might need to take them out if um if they do start going any random directions but as they will be spawning down here then they can come up that ramp some of them will spawn on this very corner here so for this we've added just a few extra ones over this side we've got some broad sides we've got the wooden floor spikes just to slow them down and if they get up the top of this ramp then we've got uh, some drop traps we've got some electric fields again make sure these are placed high up and not over here otherwise the um any husks coming up that ramp are just going to walk straight across and straight over to your builds anyway so make sure that they're at least two tiles up from this section um if they do get this far then we got some more broadsides more wall darts and, and everything here and we do have a wall launcher set on here and on here just to make sure it will fling them back down so they've got to start their journey again and the same if they come up this side we got our wooden floor spikes down there slow them down we got some drop traps at the top of the ramp and it's pretty much the same just 
wall launchers to fling them back down, make them start again, and loads of other traps along here. And they they very barely ever made it up to this square. So I've got that there just in case. Now, the other thing to note with this, and especially with those lobbers, is there is a natural ramp that runs all the way up here. So what I did do is I blocked this off. I put a couple of traps on it because really the only ones that you need to worry about are going to be your smashers. They will they will go through, especially tier one structures, they will go through those pretty easy. So I've got a broadside on there. we got a sound wall just for any smaller husks. And we got a wall dart on this side because of your lobbers. Your lobbers like to stand at this point and although they can just about make out the amplifier up there they will tend to go for these structures so they will lob at these and they will destroy these pieces and as soon as they take those out then that's all your defense is gone and you're going to start getting problems so i put in a wall dart here just to make sure any of those lobbers that try to stand at this point as soon as they start uh, getting any damage from a, a trap, then they will generally move and go over this way towards the um, direction anyway. But behind this and underneath this, we do have some electric fields as well, just for the smasher. That is all they really are. Now, I did add in an extra couple of traps at this ramp because again with those darn lobbers they will come all the way around here they will come all the way down there and they will make their way all the way up this ramp to come up here i have known them to go so far just trying to find a direction so i put in a couple of traps here just to make sure that any that did come up this point are going to get taken out as soon as they get up here so that is for your south now for the west they are going to spawn and this barrier will be pretty much will go across this corner here so you won't be able to get any more structures in um any further over and you don't want to place any even though it will be in the storm you don't want to place any like that at all because you can have a random spawn which will appear at the top here so if you place these uh, uh, these two tiles they just fall straight on top and they will just walk straight to your amplifier so make sure you leave those ones out for now because your spawns are going to be around this section here so we've got a few directions they can come up again mainly they're going to want to come up this way so we blocked this section just to make sure they don't go behind there but they will come into this and they will get hit into these boxes with all of these broadsides and wall darts and everything more launchers fling them back out at all possible um, places and yeah they they don't tend to really get that far so the next direction that they can come is over here they can come over this direction here now again with the lobbers they may want to try and go through this section up here because you do have a natural sort of walkway up under here and a natural ramp so i blocked all of this bit off just to make sure that they don't want to go up there uh, if they do go any further and they go up to that one then they get taken out anyway but they will come through this direction up here so again more drop traps up here I didn't bother putting one on this square, but I left the tile in just to make sure the lobbers don't stand there and fling from this point. Uh, block this one off just to make sure they don't go behind the actual structure, or again, the lobbers will start going up there and, and lobbing from a distance. Um, if they do get in here, then we got broadsides, launchers, ceiling electric fields, retractable floor spikes, wall darts, all of these set up here and I, I didn't even bother putting any on these squares we didn't need them at all so yeah that is that is all of those defenses and this should cover you pretty much for your seven and your eight you can do them pretty easily just keep an eye out for those lobbers because they will travel some vast distance sometimes just to try and get 
to your amplifier but i hope that does help you out don't forget to check out the links in the description for the rest of this series but i hope you have a fantastic day and until the next one stay safe my friends Thank <laughs> you.